Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about Obstetric Ultrasound Probe Positioning. We will talk about probe placements for a pregnant uterus. The only focus here is to scan the pregnant uterus and the embryo and fetus. We will start from early pregnancy. On the left side is a schematic diagram showing ultrasound proposition. These dotted lines are the right and left coastal margins. This is the umbilicus. This white box is the ultrasound probe. And this red dot is the indicator or the orientation marker. This region is the inguinal region. At this point is the symphysis pubis. First, scan the uterus in longitudinal plane. We place the probe between the umbilicus and the symphysis pubis joint. This is the hypogastric region. It is also called suprapubic region. Place the probe in the midline in longitudinal orientation. The patient's bladder must be full. You will find the uterus posterior to the bladder. This is in early pregnancy. You can see a gestational sac here containing an embryo. You can measure the CRL after locating it. It is seen within the uterine cavity, so it is an intrauterine pregnancy. Rotate the probe 90 degrees anti clockwise to scan in transverse plane. This is the uterus containing a gestational sac in transverse view. Scan all the way from the fundus to the cervix. Make sure you examine the ovaries and head neck eye as well. By placing the probe in this manner in longitudinal plane, it is important to rule out an ectopic pregnancy even if you have located an intrauterine gestational sac. Because in rare cases, a heterotopic pregnancy can occur in which there is a presence of intrauterine gestational sac as well as a gestational sac outside the uterus. It could be in the fallopian tube or the ovary. As the pregnancy progresses, you will start to see the amniotic sac with the fetus in it. You can measure the CRL. The uterus is much bigger in size. This is the bladder over here. Fetal head and limbs will be seen well by the end of first trimester, that is at 13 weeks. By keeping the probe in this manner, we will get an image like this. In a longitudinal plane, the right side of the image is towards the cervix and the left side of the image is towards the fundus. On the left side is an image that shows us the position and orientation of the fetus within the uterus. It also shows the probe placement. And on the right side is the image formed when we place the probe in this manner. We can find out the fetal presentation and orientation. This is a cephalic presentation in which the head is directed towards the cervix. When the fetus is in this presentation, the head will be seen in the right side of the image and the feet will be found in the left side of the image. The spine faces the posterior aspect of the uterus, so it is a posterior spine and will be seen down here. We can also get a mid-sagittal profile here. 
it gives us great detail of fetal anatomy. In cephalic presentation, to view the fetal head and brain in transverse plane, bring the probe down towards symphysis pubis and you will find the fetal head. You can move the probe to the side until you see parietal bones on the top and bottom of the image. Adjust the probe slightly until you can see the thalami and the cavum septum pellucidum. When you find these structures, you can measure the biparietal diameter and head circumference. Move the probe slightly up towards the mother's umbilicus and you can locate the fetal orbits and nasal bones. This is the image you will get. Move the probe further upwards and you will find the fetal chest. You will be able to see the fetal heart. The spine is seen at the bottom half of the image. With small movements towards the umbilicus, you will be able to see the stomach on the left side of the fetus. This is the spine right here. Part of the umbilical cord is also seen. When you locate the umbilical vein like this, along with the stomach, you can measure the abdominal circumference. Another orientation is cephalic spine anterior. By placing the probe in this longitudinal orientation, we will get this image. The spine is seen at the top of the image. Now we can examine each section in transverse view. The heart will be seen like this, directed towards the right side of the image. Similarly, as we move up towards the mother's umbilicus, we can locate the stomach. The spine is seen at the top of the image. The stomach will be seen in the right half of the image. Next presentation is the breech presentation in which the fetal head is directed towards the fundus and the fetal hips are directed towards the cervix. Fetal head will be located near the mother's umbilicus and as we move down in transverse plane, we will reach the fetal chest. This will be the heart's orientation directed towards the right half of the image with the spine seen at the bottom. Move down towards the cervix until you locate the stomach. The spine is seen at the bottom and the stomach is also seen in the right half of the image. The next breech orientation is breech spine anterior. The spine is facing anteriorly. This is how the image will look like when you place the probe in this manner. The hips are directed towards the cervix and the fetal head is directed towards the fundus. For a transverse presentation, when you place the probe in longitudinal orientation over the uterus, you will get a transverse image of the fetus. If the spine is anterior, it will be seen at the top of the image. The stomach will be seen in the right half of the image. Similarly, the heart will also be seen in the right half. You can move the probe left and right to locate the fetal head and all other structures. This is another transverse presentation in which the fetal head is towards 
the left side and facing the posterior aspect of the uterus. So when we move the probe to the left, we will find the fetal head. When we move from left to the right, we will find the heart. This will be the image formed. If we move more to the right, the stomach will also be seen at this side. Transverse spine posterior position is another type of transverse presentation in which the fetal head is towards the right side and facing the anterior aspect of the uterus. So, keeping the probe in longitudinal orientation, if we move to the right side, we will find the fetal head in transverse plane. When we move the probe from the right side to the left side, we will find the fetal heart in this position with the spine at the bottom. Moving further to the left will bring the stomach in view also at this side. In this type of transverse presentation, the fetal head is towards the left side and facing the anterior aspect of the uterus. This is an image of the heart. It will be found at this side. The stomach will also be found at this side. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.